Chris, you're on Free Talk Live. What is on your mind, sir? Hey, guys. Um, I kind of wanted to touch base on the excellent argument you got into last night about the uh, burning of flags and whether or not it is activism. Yes, and, hold on. Uh, how let, everybody stands on that. Let me recap real quick for uh, folks that are just tuning in, didn't hear last night's show. Uh, so um, Ian posted on Free Talk Live's Facebook page um, a post that was made by Shire Dude on Ian's blog, Free Keen, where they were burning little tiny b toothpick flags, you know, like the kind of flags you'd put in a cupcake or something. Or, um, or, or a drink. Yeah, or, or a sandwich, or, you know, that kind of thing. Just a toothpick with a little flag on the end. And um, apparently they've been doing these little, burning these little flag, these little tiny toothpick flags um, at uh, events for several months. And for whatever reason, they made a video of it. And Okay, so there's, and then Ian identified it as Free State Project Early Movers, you know, making sure to attach the Free State Project's name to something that might not entirely be called activism. So, there you go, Chris. I think I've, uh, I think I've brought everybody up to speed. Yes, well said. Um, well, my opinion, as an outsider looking in down here in Charlotte, um, I would have called myself like a liberal Democrat maybe a year ago. Okay. And I used to listen to you guys back in the day, and I picked you back up, and I started listening more and more. And it seems to me that you have – you just have so much material if you want to uh, you know, critique the government and the things that they do wrong and ways to go about doing it. And whenever you, you do do something like that, you're – it's almost just shock value, like you're appealing to the lowest denominator because you know – it's going to piss off 99.9% .9 of the people who see it because a lot of people, when they see the flag, they don't think of government. They think of their hometown that they grew up. They think of their family. And a lot of people, that's what it means to them. Whether it's right or not is up for debate. But when you burn it, all you do is anger people. Yep. And you, I'd say I you're, hate you really and everything you stand for. You suck is what people hear when they see a flag burning. And they also hear the sacrifices made by family members and uh, you know people that they have emotional attachments to so they th they think of uh, people dying on the the beaches of uh, y you know Omaha Beach there um, by the way mm -hmm. not that many people died on Utah Beach uh, Omaha Beach might have been a mistake mm -hmm. just saying mm -hmm. Well, also, I mean, if you think about it, if, if the flag stands for the liberation of Auschwitz and Bergen-Belsen, and to some extent it does, uh, it also has to stand for the massacres of Philippines during the guerrilla war in 19, around, I guess, around 1902, yep. and the other nasty things that the federal government has done, and all the terrible things that it's doing to the people who support it. I mean, by sucking out, you know, 15, 20 percent of their income every year. Yeah, don't forget the regulations, mm -hmm. what they do. So, Chris, um, liberal no, Democrats aren't generally known as people that are big, uh, you know, anti-flag burners. What, uh, uh, you know. Well, it's not that I'm an anti-flag burner so much. I mean, me personally, I could really care less. To me, it's just yet another symbol that's kind of thrown in my face every day. Yeah. But I will tell you. Uh, you know, family and friends, I've grown around Repu Southern Republicans who are about as hardcore as you can get. I mean, you're, you're just not going to open their eyes up when you do something like that. They're, on, they're just going to go to I hate you. Yep. And that's really not what we should be trying to achieve. It should be more I love you uh, than hate. If you want to bring people in, use positive. Like emotions. I said, there's a stack of material that's a mile high that you can go to and that works and makes sense. And instead, you're going to appeal to the lowest common denominator by doing something that most people consider very offensive. Yeah, yesterday what I called the flag was a religious symbol. And when it comes to religions, people are willing to die for them. That's kind of part of the whole gig with a religion, right? Um, you know, yep. when you're whether you're talking about Christianity or Islam, we can certainly find lots of examples of people be being willing to die for their religion in that case. But I really believe that patriotism is whether it's the u.s patriotism or whatever country it is there's people who are choosing to die for mm -hmm. something that is below uh, minimum wage usually is what a private's getting paid um you know they're they're, they're giving their lives for this so and, it, and they're also given hero status for doing so they're you know they're getting on a wall on a plaque somewhere 
uh, because they died uh, for the country, for their patriotism. Or the willingness to die, too. I mean, don't forget the, and, and the it's pictures. No di- it's no different than these uh, Islamic uh, uh, terrorists, uh, supposed terrorists, who are, who are strapping uh, you know vests on and running well, into... You can say that because you're a veteran. I cannot. Um, <laughs> but that's part of the religion, right? Like, you get to say those things because mm-hmm. you've spent your time in the temple. I, however, well, there, haven't. Well, there are differences, but they're both good and bad differences. Yeah. The so um, basically, what I'm trying to say is, is that when you make somebody angry enough by uh, spitting in their face about patriotism, you're 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 going after the thing that they're willing to die for, yep. and that means that they're liable to kill you. And by the way, my next door neighbor, who I get along with splendidly, he actually has a stupid flag memorial. He's got it hanging in his backyard. He's got spotlights going up to it so it shines at night. You know, this is, you know, burning a little, any kind of uh, flavor of flag would be, you know, absolutely the wrong thing. And we would be mortal enemies afterwards because he's really, really into his flag. He's into that flag, yeah. But then we can go, we can talk about anti-government this and that. Yeah. But burn. While he's got a light on his flag in his backyard, you can discuss, you know, whatever it is that you problem you have with the government. It's Mm -hmm. absolutely right, things And a lot of things we agree with, but, you know, that, that that would cross the line uh, in so many ways, and we would be we would be enemies, you know, from that day after. That'd be it. That'd be Chris, it. Chris, you're absolutely right. Yeah.